everybody, this is Zorgi. Um, today I'll be showing you how to make a your very own Minecraft Forge uh, server. Um, and this server is also going to have mods in it, so I'll show you how to put mods in. Um, the one that I'm going to show you how to make is the one that me and my buddy BG Dominate or Lee, uh, that we've been making videos on, um, and it's a lot of fun. These three mods that I'm going to put in, show you guys how to put in, are just a lot of fun. Totally worth checking out, so I highly recommend it. Alright, so the first thing I did is just make a folder. I just called it the server. Very generic. Um, if you get into the habit of making servers, you just gotta come up with new and unique names, and this is not unique at all. <laughs> so, first thing you gotta do is go to the Minecraft.net website. You go down here to play Minecraft, you hit download. Now, because this is gonna be a Forge server, you don't click Minecraft Server EXE for Windows. You need to click the Minecraft underscore server jar, blah, 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 de, blah. Um, you need that for your uh, server. So you want to save this in your server folder, like so. Alright, so the next thing you want to pay attention to is down here, uh, it says with Java and then all this random junk behind it. You want to highlight all of that, if I can highlight it, I don't think I can highlight oh, there it is, okay. So I highlight all of that and you want to copy that and you want to paste it, the entire thing, even including the period, you want to paste that into Notepad notepad and then you want to save it uh, it doesn't matter what you call it but you gotta make sure you put dot bat at the end of it and you want to save that in your server folder like so so I'm gonna call it start start dot bat alright so the next thing you want to do is you want to go download minecraft forge so you go to the minecraft forge index whatever bajinging minecraftforge.net, I don't know, it will all be in the description, all these, um, all these links will be in the description, and it's got big red letters, make sure you're running the latest forge before submitting any bugs, so you just click latest, and that will give you the download, and you want to choose universal, it says Java Docs. I don't know what those are, just click universal, trust me. So you want to skip the ad when it comes up, and you save the file, it doesn't have to be in your server folder, but... I just put it in there for convenience sake. You click your server folder majiggy. Okay, so you want to go to Minecraft server. You want to open that uh, with your, you know, either WinRAR or Zip7. I use actually both of them. <laughs> Win WinRAR is kind of annoying though, it yells at you. Um, and you want to open both Minecraft server and the jar, the Minecraft Forge folder with WinRAR. Okay, so here we have both of them open. You want to copy everything from Minecraft Forge, so you control A, <laughs> copy, or just drag it. I think I'm going to just drag it. I'm going to drag it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do is drag it. Darn it! Control A, drag, and drop it. Okay. Alright, so it's important that you don't delete the meta nymph file. I know like everyone's trained to and all that jazz, but for this sake you're not supposed to. Alright, so we close out of both of those. And then you start your server, pray to God it works. So this is good signs right here. That this all's going on, good sign. Alright, so the server has loaded up. So now you want to check the server to make sure that it works. Um, so just mess all this junk. And then up your Minecraft, which is right here for me. You also need Forge in your Minecraft game too, also. If you guys have any trouble with that, just ask me. Um, I might just make another video telling, letting you know how to put it in your Minecraft. So in order to play at a Forge server, you need to have Forge on your Minecraft. Alright, so hit multiplayer. And I already have one made, but I'm going to delete this. Um, so I can show you guys how to link to it wicked easily. So if you're the one running the server, all you have to do is add server, and you can name it whatever you want, doesn't matter. But the server addressed is localhost. Oops, localhost. No spaces. Done. Now, you're connected. Join. Alright, here we go. I'm in the server and everything's working quite dandy. Dandily. Alright. Alright, and then to stop your server, you type in STOP for stop. You hit enter. Don't ever close out of your server, <clears throat> or else you might lose, like, building data and other stuff, and that will really suck. So now that the server's up and running, you want to add the mods in. And this is the wicked easy part. Anyone who ever used this before, it's the easiest thing ever. You just drag them into, um, the mod folder, because it makes a mod folder. Mods. 
So the so the mods that we are using, BG Dominate and I, that we're using in our videos is uh, Invasion mod. Um, what's this one? <laughs> Castle Defenders mod and Weapons mod. And <clears throat> all these links will be in the description. All you have to do is download it and save what you're downloading in your mods folder, and you will be a okay. You you know you rerun your server, it will load up those mods, and you should be perfect. All right, so this is uh, Zorgi Baby, and if you want to hear any else, anything else about me, <laughs> about what you can do with servers, uh, let me know. I'll do my best to either explain it or <clears throat> come out with a video for you guys to watch and enjoy. All right, cool. Add a like, comment, subscribe, anything, whatever. <laughs> Have a great day. Later, guys.